Welcome to week five of my vlog. It's five weeks into the summer already. Thanks for checking out all the previous episodes. If you haven't, you can check those out in the playlist here. This week, I'm gonna be back on Eastern Michigan's campus all week doing their robotics and automation training for Project Lead the Way. I think this book will actually be a little bit more exciting to watch. Last week's training uh, for Project Lead the Way was all design and modeling, which is really cool stuff, but it's a little bit hard to tell the story because it's all in the computer. There was very little physical stuff. Well, this week is robotics and automation, and so though there is a big software component with the programming that'll be uh, happening for actually programming robots, there's actually gonna be a strong physical component with the actual robots and robotic stuff itself. So I'm really excited to get going. I'm gonna be jumping on the bike in just a second here, so here's to a great week five. We are heading to lunch. That's one of the nice things during the Project Lead the Way core training. We do lunch together every day, which is provided. Uh, this morning we've been working as a group uh, doing a presentation about what some different robots do. So my partner and I have been working on putting that presentation together. And then after lunch we'll be finishing that up and we will present to the class. Here's what you get. And it just comes in two big boxes and a bunch of little bags and boxes. There are a lot of little boxes. <laughs> A lot of little boxes. So the smaller pieces I know that they have a really hard time understanding. So I go through and one of the best purchases I ever made was buying the screwdrivers. So if we take a small screw and put the standoff through there, is that what she's talking about? Okay. Day one of automation and robotics training for Project Lead the Way is now wrapped up. Today was mostly taken up with getting introduced to the course, looking through the learning management system, as well as doing some work in building mechanisms, which we will use and build on as we're building our robot designs later in the week. Time to head home. It's Tuesday morning, getting ready to ride down to campus. It is a beautiful summer morning out here. What? <laughs> what? You're mine. Kaboom. Very cool.
It's Wednesday morning. Today is definitely a car and coffee day. I need to get some stuff done. I don't have a ton of time and I need some coffee. I've got to sit down and do some homework assignments that are due this morning. Um, didn't have time to get to those things last night because I was working on stuff for the graduate class that I'm currently taking. So today's going to be a really busy day. Uh, we've got a full day of class and then a like social pizza thing afterwards. So long day. I'm um, going to try and get some stuff done this morning before class officially starts. Next out in the hallway, we're going to give it a first test. Maybe abject failure, but we'll see. What do you think, guys? Predictions? Wheelies. Wheelies? Smoke out. Smoke out? All right, let's try. Let turn power back on. Gosh, that switch is so Let's see if we can download it. I'll hold it up. Download. Yep, start and then hit the button. Go ahead and hit it. I get, I get it off the. Okay. Nope. Okay, three. All right, two. Oh, look at that sucker go! It's Thursday morning. Going to be back on the bike this morning. Uh, I think today is going to be a pretty crucial day in the Project Lead the Way automation and robotics training. Typically it seems like Thursday is the day when the final sort of big project hits. Um, so I anticipate a busy, busy day. I'll try to shoot as much as I can and show some of the programming stuff that we're doing. Yesterday afternoon ended up being a lot of fun getting our, our uh, robotic dragster running and a lot of frustration in trying to get our traffic light thing working. Um, I will try to show those. Uh, with a little video this morning if I can. All right, I'm gonna hit the bike. Three, two, one, go! Damn, not again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's gonna be a sweet video. Yeah, make a sweet video. <laughs> wow, that's... Uh, so we're working on getting uh, headlights and taillights added to our vehicle here. All right, so I sent the program. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. So we've got our two headlights on. Yes. That's a good sign. I will. We'll take it. And did our motors just try to drive forward? Yes. So inconclusive so far, but it looks like a good first test. Turn. Oh, that's close to 90. That's close. Not quite 90, but it's closer. Tail lights are off. Oh, it's close. Look at Grandma. Watching a movie? I think she's still driving it, right? Because once she gets to yeah. the movie, then the, everything turns off. Okay. And then World's Shortest Movie. Reverse out of the parking spot. Is that right? Reverse out of the parking spot? Mm -hmm. Okay, tail lights are on. Sure. So this is our uh, this is our grandma's chair project. It's an elevator for grandma, so that she can get up the stairs more easily. All right. And if grandma wants to return home, she got her sandwich. She forgot her coffee. She forgot her bathrobe. So the cash home project is a factory assembly line. And your module is 235. 235. Yeah. I need you to create an assembly line that is going to manufacture these block pieces. What you are going to be doing is creating that assembly line. So each group's portion of the project has to match up 
and meet up with the others so that tomorrow morning we can line these all up and have six portions of the assembly line running. All right, it's Friday morning. Today we're going to be wrapping up the automation and robotics training. Yesterday we spent a lot of time in the afternoon working on the assembly line project with the entire class. I didn't really film any of that because I really wanted to stay focused working with my team and I didn't want that to distract from the process. I'm really looking forward though to showing you the finished product. Teams have been working really hard and getting to see all these automated uh, assembly line stations put together at the end should be really sweet. So it's been a good week. Lucky to uh, be at the end here of a pretty intense set of trainings. Looking forward to a couple days off for sure. All right, here we go. We gotta fix our gap. Find the gap. Okay. Oh, it's the side to side as well. <laughs> there we go. 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 Project Laid the Way training is now wrapped up for this week. Automation and robotics is all finished. It's about noon on Friday now. I'm going to see if I can get some other stuff done around the house. And um, I really need to try and record voiceover for a video, a project video that is almost done. With any luck, I will get that voiceover recorded and get that video published today. Um, if I do, I will put a link up here. That is part two of the workshop redo project that I've been doing. And I gotta say, um, it was a great week of training, but I am fried mentally, so I also may just go in and read a book instead. Uh, I do have three more days of Project Lead the Way training next week for energy and the environment, looking at alternative energy projects with students, so that should be great. Um, but it's time to do a little rest and repair and hopefully uh, get some project stuff caught up for now. It's a little later now, Friday afternoon, after some lunch and a chance to check out some YouTube videos from some of my favorite channels. Uh, Casey Neistat, uh, super excited to see his new Beam app launching. Um, and Casey's vlog was a huge inspiration to start my weekly summer vlog, so thank you so much, Casey. So I had a little burst of energy after some lunch and some tea. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on editing this week's vlog, and then assuming the energy rolls through, I will start working on recording that voiceover. So we've been really enjoying our evening here tonight. It's a perfect summer night for being out here at the pool. And I wasn't gonna record anything else today, but something really struck me. It's been a really crazy week, and tonight swimming at the pool has been a really uh, much needed relief and chance to relax. But what really struck me was looking at the bricks that were here. This community pool, this is Rutherford Community Pool in Ypsilanti. This community pool was rebuilt and funded in large part by the community in Ypsilanti through Friends of Rutherford Pool raising donations. And looking at the dedications on those bricks just drove home what a powerful, um, what a powerful impact a community 
can have through pooling their resources and people volunteering and putting their time into something they believe in like this. There's everything from people wanting others to have a good time at the pool to churches and businesses, community leaders, families who've lost members of their family. And it just, it really hit me hard. Um, what a special thing this is. When people put their, their minds together and work in community like this, amazing things can happen. So I'm gonna close the vlog here this week. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week and weekend, and I'll see you next week. All right, go. Yeah? Yeah, go. There is actually one more final thing I wanted to do. I realized as I was editing the vlog today that I had actually hit a really important and kind of cool milestone yesterday. On Friday, I hit 500 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for everybody who subscribed. It's, it's really cool to know that people are interested in knowing what's going on and in following things. So thanks a bunch and be sure to check out next week's vlog. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to my YouTube channel or check me out on Instagram at Bill Van Loo.